I tell my mom about Max. Um, my dad had just landed from Egypt. And I was like, mom, there's a guy. I, first of all, I came like, like a little girl. I was like, I need to tell you something. <laughs> and she's like, oh, <laughs> she felt it. Cause I already had been prepping her like with questions. And she's like, oh, let me sit down. She sits down. She's like, what is it? I was like, somebody's coming to ask for my hand. And you know, um, yeah. What, what? And then she's like, who is it, blah, blah, blah. Is he Muslim? I'm like, yeah, yeah he's Muslim. And then I'm um, like, but he's a convert. He, he's been Alhamdulillah. A, Alhamdulillah. It's called a revert because we were all born Muslim, so it's not convert. Oh, yeah, true. yeah, yeah, that's true. The best of us are reverts. Yeah, and so she was happy. She was like, okay, yeah. is he practicing? Is he a real Muslim? Or is it because, like, you know, you never know who's real, a real Muslim who's not. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, is he just saying did, did it? Did he become Muslim in jail? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Is he just saying it so you can come over and ask yeah. your hand? And I was like, no, you know, he's been surrounded with, like, Muslim people. And he's been doing the research and he's been practicing for a while and he's Muslim. And I told him, like, I want to have a Muslim family. I want to, like, you know, mm. continue on with the religion. And he's, he's like, on the same page. look at my beard. We're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> I was halfway there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so um, I got up. Everybody asked me, like, culturally, if she was, like, upset or if there was any drama uh, um at the end of the conversation i was like oh oh oh, oh mama one yeah. more thing one yeah. more thing um he's jamaican because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i was gonna not, ask you that because yeah. this is this is something unfortunately that is a, a, an issue a rife issue in the arab culture where and it's not just and it's not just a, a black white thing or it's a, even down to a yeah. oh no 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 he's not yemeni too or he's yeah. not egyptian like some countries are well, like we went he's way from a out different, of the yeah, 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 yeah 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 some people are like from like, different so what villages. arab country is he from yeah, jamaica yeah, yeah. yeah right <laughs> yeah yeah jamaica jamaica <laughs> jamaica <laughs> jamaica this put a hat in an arabic letter you know <laughs> Guys, welcome to another episode of Jibba with Jabba. I had to start this now because we've been waiting for four hours. Um, <laughs> so today is a very special episode because I'm joined with someone who's really close to my heart, family, um, you know, and I'd like to introduce him to Dubai. Max Maxwell, how are you doing? How are you doing? How's I'm everything? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me. Man, welcome to Dubai. It's been, it's been a long time coming and uh, I'm glad that you're finally here. I'm glad that I'm here. How's everything? Everything is wonderful, man. I love this place. Yo, yeah. this is, it's really fun out here. Like we're having the May's here too. So uh, hey, May, how you doing? Yo, I. Um, uh, anyways, there's a lot of shine. Where's on your my shoes. introduction? <laughs> there's a lot of shine. You had your introduction, <laughs> and let me tell you, dude. Let me tell you the worst episode <laughs> I've ever done in my life of a podcast. Yeah, Let's hear this. the most awkward, <laughs> weirdest thing that ever happened. Right, and. Mate, I, yeah. I almost quit the game because of this because of this episode. So May's over and, and she's like, Look, I've I, got I've got all this merch with me. I want to sell my merch. So no. I thought No 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 So I thought, hey, listen, I thought, hey, why don't we do this? I've got friends at the Paramount Hotel. They have a live theater there with seats in that. Why don't we make the meet and greet merch part of the podcast live? Mm-hmm. She's like, great idea. Let's do that. Sounds wonderful. Sells out the meet and greet. You know how me is. She, yeah. she has a, 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 I'm not going to lie, Thank a ride you. or die family. Thank you for acknowledging yeah. me um, and of, not looking at three, me still. Of three years old. Looking at me. <laughs> See, that's going to come into this too. Because we're going to talk about looking at someone when they're talking to you. Right. So first off, you know how my podcast is. Mm -hmm. It's shoot in the wind, know. shots fired. He knows now. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't like to do research. I don't like to prepare questions. Probably about. That was a mistake half on your an part. hour half an hour before the episode she goes i want to know everything you're asking me then i'm like okay it's like i want to know every question and then i'm like no that's this, not this, what this i said i said weird. i said jebed we should practice this i know you've never done a live podcast yeah, you before don't, you don't practice. we should practice how it's gonna be like he's like no i never practice my podcast never. i never go I in on either it. Uh, yeah i never okay See? but this was now something he's never done before it's okay. a live podcast and i didn't know how a live podcast yes yeah, so to there, you go, there you go there you go it was both? more her it no. was more self-preservation than anything else we I would love to hear what a story yeah 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 so i'll continue i digress so we did that we get to start this podcast okay i'm sitting facing her like this okay now there's a lot of things going through my mind this is so embarrassing i can't swear because her fan base is very you know they're, they're polite and well pretend to be yeah well, and there's 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 five-year-olds in in the crowd so mm -hmm. i can't say my usual like what's up motherfuckers mm -hmm. welcome to the show so I'm, I'm constantly thinking don't say anything rash okay that's the first thing second thing i quickly realized and it only dawned on me when we started the podcast 
none of these people are here to see me. <laughs> <laughs> right not one person cares about anything i have to say so i couldn't do my usual like jabs or whatever it, it was literally the may show which give you your props oh, i un i understood okay. that i understood yeah. because you know they're here to see you so don't try and take the show and may god bless her also not knowing how to do this <laughs> spoke to the crowd for the whole episode okay oh. i would ask her a question <laughs> no. and she would be facing them answering i was sitting there like a dickhead for an hour literally like imagine this imagine having a conversation with someone you're speaking to them and then they're doing this and continuing the conversation in that direction i so i, I decided like this is not a podcast right now this is a personal attack you of, didn't introduce of course, me of course of course do you expect me. anything less do you expect anything i cannot less? believe this no. this is a fish tank yeah one of those is your wedding gift you get to take it in a bag what um yeah, so basically oh, that. Wow. We'll finish soon. I know she wants to get off the subject, but I'm not going to let her because <laughs> this today is like this is my worst. show. <laughs> today is yeah, not the main show. Yeah, yeah, right? I got to prove everyone. First Look, all, I'm funny too. Can I say something? Yeah. That was the first time I seen Jaber. He's so outgoing, so talkative. He was turning into a little mouse. Was, Dude, and then because people, I quickly realized I'm not done. nobody cares. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Imagine sitting in a crowd where everyone's going, like literally every time you talk, they're kind of like, <gasps> yeah, her. And then I was like, I could feel beads of sweat coming down my head. Never in my life have I been nervous. I've been I've been in the line of fire before and I was not nervous. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. that was that. She got ride or die fans for yeah. sure. So, and um, yeah, and he was whispering the questions. Like people would be like, hey, we can't even. We no, can't something even, like, happened with the mic as well. No. And people were like halfway he, through. They were like, we can't hear you. And I was like, you decide <laughs> to tell me this now. We've been recording for 45 minutes. Like, and then. <laughs> it was from bad yeah, to worse. Yeah. But it wasn't because of me. I was a lovely if, guest. If you want to believe that. No, no, you were a lovely guest before the podcast. During the podcast, it was the May show, <laughs> straight up May show, like, you know? No, I, I felt he was shutting down and being more quiet. So I turned up my energy more to compensate for like the awkwardness. How and much so of that, how much of that do you believe that she was turning up her energy or May is May? <laughs> like, that's how you are. You're no, full of energy. So I am, nothing changed. But I know, I, yeah. I, I know that I purposely turned up more and like did cr crazier things and tried to engage the audience more because I felt like you were like taking a seat back. Do you know what I was going to do? I was going to do a voice note of questions and just leave it next to the mic and just leave <laughs> and, and then after that she goes to me hey come get some pictures i was like with who nobody cares about me here they don't want any pictures with me no, did the podcast episode ever come out yeah yeah it, it, came, out. it came out and funnily enough i had a lot of people go that was really good man and i was like See? how like See? it was but yeah so that was you know it that, that episode um, let's talk about more. Congratulations. Thank you. At least we're here redeeming everything. Yeah, yeah, we're redeeming everything. Thank but you this for is, that 15 is, minute uh, sabotage. No, I mean, know intro. It is. But this is how I wanted the podcast to be in the beginning, right? Like us being natural. Of, that, that's what I felt we couldn't do in that because we had people who paid money to hear what you had to say. Do you mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if we started going off in another conversation, they'd be like, hey, I'm wearing a t shirt with a thing on it. Can you please? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, congratulations on the wedding. Thank you. Thank you so big much. Big deal, big deal. Yeah. I'm so happy for you guys. I remember you told me that night, and I was so hyped. Uh, like, I was messaging her. I, I was asleep, and then I woke up, and I was just like, oh, oh. I was like so excited. <laughs> yeah, How yeah. How did this all happen? I'm sure there's people here, or here, who, who want to know about all this. Where did this all come from? Was, Everybody wants to know. Yeah. Everybody thinks we've been dating for a long time, mm. which we have not been. Yeah. Um, this is our, wait, before we get into that, this is our first time doing a podcast, even like publicly talking new, about it. This new is crazy. Episode, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pew, 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 yeah pew, we pew, haven't even exclusive. talked about this in our platforms at all. It's yeah. interesting, but we've planned to because mm -hmm. a lot of people ask, how did you guys meet? Bunch of questions. And um, are you going to? Yeah, I, I'm, like, I'm like waiting yeah. for him that's, to that's start. You know what I mean? I was <laughs> like, how did you meet? And he was going, it's really interesting. <laughs> so, a lot of people want to know that. Well, we met back so in like I'm 2000, construction. <laughs> early 2019. Okay. At, at one of my real, I do real estate. I'm a real estate investor and I do a whole conferences. It's 2018, 2018. And, um, we met, we met at the conference and that's when I met her. I mean, and then we kind of went our separate ways. From oh, no, 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 no. I want stories. I want this. I want this notebook style. I want, she walked into the room <laughs> yeah, you're saying it's and so then, dry. and Should then my heart it? stopped and well, my ears so popped. It's 20, it's 20, March of 2019. Okay. is when she came to a conference that I had and my whole family's there. My mother's there and there's 1200 people in attendance. Right. Wow. And, uh, she sits at the table that my mother's at. Mm 
right next to her. Just like randomly, yeah, you didn't well, know each other. Because there's a other. mutual friend that okay. she had, but then she sat at that table, and I'm on stage in front of 1,201 people, and I am talking to the crowd, but then I'm noticing somebody at the table with my mother. Yeah. And um, you know, it's the way that he said that, right? 1,201. He separated you from. That's 1200 right. other people That's it was like right. 1200 people and a and light the one. yeah and the one yeah we, we end up exchanging information and um, i like that that's a very polite way of yeah. going i got a number <laughs> yeah i got a number <laughs> yeah and uh, we end up you know speaking for a while yeah i don't know, you add to that yeah i'll add to it because you're, <laughs> you're not doing this story justice so we were friends and uh we stayed connected over the years and i know like at that time in my life i was so confused i was I'm like so happy you're looking at me <laughs> it's a simple thing and yeah. by, the way, by the way she was she was working at a law firm I was, she yeah, was not yeah, I remember, she was not yeah. made the content creator yeah at this i point. didn't do any con i was doing like curly hair blogging i wasn't like doing any type of comedy mm. and I was just trying to figure out what to do in life. So I was working at a law firm. I was looking into real estate. I was wondering what I was going to do with my life. And then I had met him. We had exchange information. And then when I started building my platform, like I know he was at like, I don't want to say the top of your game because that's not like you're still. I was booming. Like yeah. I had just taken off 2018, 2019 was like my craziest years. This is on and platforms. On yeah. YouTube's on and YouTube's. Yeah. And, you know, we went from zero subscribers to hundred thousand like that and then you know i was just traveling around the country then the world and it just took off and she got to see that hmm. and then i was building my platform and my content creation and i was building an audience and i was doing stuff with my mom and he was seeing that and in between we were just like connect or would have a random phone call yeah. and we'd be like friends like really friends just but watching before each other that grow. before that i do want to take credit because she oh was she was in between deciding should i stay at this law firm or should i not and i'm like go yeah. quit but in the between time, she was she was actually doing everything she could to get fired from that law firm. Yeah. Because and also it's easy for him. He's at the top of his game telling yeah. me to quit. It's I'm always over like here. that, right? But it's you like, lived at you, you lived know at home that, and you you were responsible with money. You had money saved and things and just like take a break. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't yeah, just I hate like, it when people do that. You know when really successful people I see like posts on Instagram going, When a crackhead wants crack, <laughs> they don't have any money, but they get their crack. And I'm like, you know what they do to get that crack? I'm not, I'm not about to do that. And, and, you know, my dreams are big. That's a whole bunch of stuff I got to do with a lot of people to get my dreams to be successful. You might, you don't tell me that, you know? You might want to. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. And then um, I think the, the main turning point, we were friends. And um, my birthday was September 18. And I remember I called him, I called him randomly and I hung up and he was like, he calls me back. He was like, Wait, hey, you hung up when you answered. It's like before, a, br a breath pool. Answered, like, yeah. No, before he oh, answered, okay. it was like two rings. He says, I thought it reached voicemail for me. I thought it was too many rings. You know, yeah, when you're yeah. calling someone, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. So then I hung up and then he called me right back. And he's like, it was a day before my birthday. And he goes, hey, if you want an early birthday, get uh, birthday wish, I'm not going to do it. You have to wait your, uh, till September 18. And I was like, Oh yeah, are you gonna celebrate your my birthday with me? I think that's. <laughs> Anyways, and then he was like, "Yeah, sure." So he's on the phone. I thought I so, I thought he was joking. No, so when she said that, I put her on speakerphone, and I go on the app, and I'm booking a ticket as I'm talking to her. I'm like, wow. actually, I'm gonna be in New York tomorrow, anyways. Pretending that yeah, you're gonna be in New yeah, York. Yeah, but I'm yeah. booking a ticket as I'm talking to her, yeah. and I say, "Yeah, I'll be in New York tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow." And um, in the morning, I sent a picture of me uh, on the plane and she was like so you're really coming i was like yeah dinner's at eight yeah and uh, and while he's sending that he's booking restaurants yeah, like on the yeah. other thing at the same time. Yeah. and so we went to a restaurant and um you know we had we we had a conversation kind of reconnected just because we had conversations through the years she would call me and ask questions i would call her just to see what she was up to and then six months five months in between just stay in contact maybe a dm hey photo looks good or you know that's a mm. real a funny video and then it's like september 18th everything just came yeah like, i think like mm. when we had met at the real estate conference we had such a good connection and then yeah. we lived in different states and we would stay in contact and then when we linked up again for my birthday it was like wow we're really into each other the energy never went up or down it's mm. very consistent we're really into each other and then like we just had a conversation i was like listen um i don't really date anymore you mm. know like 
And then I was like, if you want to... You saw my video, right? <laughs> date me for marriage. <laughs> 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 I guess I called. I called. Yeah, I called. yeah. yeah. and then he called. Yeah, like, Papi called you. <laughs> yeah, he literally <laughs> called. And um, it was really nerve-wracking because I've never done that before. He's never came to somebody's house to ask them to get never. married. And so it was all nerve-wracking. It was like a whole research happening behind yeah, yeah. the scenes. He's like, so what happens when I knock on the door? I'm like, hold on one second. And I'd run do to I my sister. Do I bring a bag of rice over yeah. my shoulder? Like the one camel or two camels? How many camels do I need? So like we're all doing research. I'm like telling my sister, then my mom. I'm like asking my mom very cryptic questions. I was like, so mom, when it's time to get married, blah, blah. Yeah. And my mom's like, why? You know yeah. what? Like I never asked her, her these questions. Her mom knew yeah. something was going on. Usually she, she asks it. her like, when the food is ready, can you send me a message? <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, so listen, in Islam, mama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like, right, something's definitely yeah, wrong Yeah, here. yeah, I start yeah, asking yeah. the questions. And there was this one time I, I, I think I drilled her for like 10 minutes, like, oh. But I, I was like, oh, when my sister got engaged, what happened? Yeah, and yeah. when Because it was like seven, eight years ago. And you weren't filming either. She's like, this is not a TikTok video. Yeah, so yeah, something's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And so I tell my mom about Max. Um, my dad had just landed from Egypt. And I was like, mom, there's a guy. I, first of all, I came like like a little girl. I was like, I need to tell you something. <laughs> and she's like, oh, <laughs> she felt it. Because I already had been prepping her like with questions. And she's like, oh, let me sit down. She sits down. She's like, what is it? I was like, somebody's coming to ask for my hand. And, you know, um, yeah. What, what? And then she's like, who is it? Blah, blah, blah. Is he Muslim? I'm like, yeah, he's Muslim. And then I'm um, like, but he's a convert. He, he's been Alhamdulillah. A, Alhamdulillah. It's called a revert because we were all born Muslim. So it's not convert. Oh, yeah, true. yeah, yeah. That's true. The best of us are reverts. Yeah, and so she was happy. She was like, okay, yeah. is he practicing? Is he a real Muslim? Or is it, because, like, you know, you never know who's real, a real Muslim and who's not. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, is he just saying did, did it? Did he become Muslim in jail? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. Is he just saying it so you can come over and ask yeah. your hand? And I was like, no, you know, he's been surrounded with, like, Muslim people. And he's been doing the research and he's been practicing for a while and he's Muslim. And I told him, like, I want to have a Muslim family. I want to, like, you know, mm. continue on with the religion. And he's, he's like, on the same page. look at my beard. We're on <laughs> the same page. <laughs> I was halfway there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so um, I got up. Everybody asked me, like, culturally, if she was, like, upset or if there was any drama uh, um at the end of the conversation i was like oh oh oh, oh mama one yeah. more thing one yeah. more thing um he's jamaican because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i was gonna ask you that because yeah. this is this is something unfortunately that is a, a, an issue a rife issue in the arab culture where and it's not just and it's not just a, a black white thing or it's a, even down to a yeah. oh no 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 he's not yemeni too or he's yeah. not egyptian like some countries are well, like we went he's way from a out different, of the yeah, 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 yeah 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 some people are like from like, different so what villages. arab country is he from yeah, jamaica yeah, yeah. yeah right <laughs> yeah yeah jamaica jamaica <laughs> jamaica <laughs> this, jamaica. <laughs> this put a hat in an arabic letter you know <laughs> dude i went through exactly this well i didn't go through so my sister married uh, a jamaican as well mm -hmm. so it's the same thing my mom just didn't care. She was just like, look, somebody loves you. It's good. <laughs> you know, that's fine. Yeah, her, yeah, yeah. Her, her, her mom was the same thing. But she did was, you she get... Just, she wanted to know if I was a good man, if I was yeah. Muslim. And that's all that matters that's in the end. No, but I and will how say... how thick the beard is. I no, mean, she didn't want to know mighty, about that. That's a mighty beard, bro. <laughs> like, even <laughs> non-Islamically. That's uh, We spoke about this before. Yeah. Um, this is as far as it goes. But, uh, no, so when I, I had told her, I was like, Mama, uh, he's Jamaican. Her face was like... Because she was so shocked. Yeah, because she pictured like a guy with yeah. dreadlocks and a, and a rasta hat. And, no, and he's gonna come I, I can't with, He's going to come with a guitar. And, no, you know? I don't think she, she was just shocked. Like, it was, yeah. it's a lot of information. First, I was like, he's a convert. He's a, he's a, he's a pilot. Mm. Like, I'm just throwing random information. It was the first time I'm introducing Max at mm. all. And she never heard of him. So then I was like, he's Jamaican. And she's like, eh? What? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, you want to Egyptian see Jamaican? <laughs> <laughs> no, and it doesn't. It doesn't even matter that he was Egyptian. Yeah. It was just like she was shocked. She thought I. I think maybe in her head she thought yeah. I was gonna end up with somebody Arab, but I. I don't know. That's. It's, that's they. Everybody that's paints a picture everybody. in their head yeah. of everything. I'm yeah. not even just my mom. Like everybody thought I was gonna end up yeah. with somebody Arab, but then I was like, you want to see a picture of him? Yeah. And then she was like, no, I don't want to get attached to an image, and it doesn't work out. Yeah. Like, uh, and I'm like, mom, 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 just look at him. So then yeah. I showed her like pictures of him and videos and I swear to God her intuition she was like she said it in Arabic she's like yeah. like once I saw him my, my heart feels at ease I was like, "What in the hell?" That's not what that's not what it really means. What <laughs> yeah. translate tra translated into English? She and said, "Look, whoever's ready to take out my <laughs> no, house, yalla, let's that's go, let's do it." Said. Contract. And then she was like, "He's yeah. handsome." Yeah, yeah. So then um I was like, "So what's the plan?" She's like, 
your dad's landing right now. Once he lands, I'm gonna tell him. I'm like, mom, yeah. give the guy like yeah, five yeah. minutes. Yeah. He didn't even get. It's like, like, I don't care about his health or anything. Yeah. We have something serious to do. So my dad literally lands. She doesn't even say hi to him. My brother goes. She goes. Somebody wants to ask for May's hand. <laughs> And my dad's been gone for like three months in yeah, Egypt, yeah. so you can imagine. Mm. And then my dad's like, what? Salam alaikum. <laughs> He's like putting his luggage in the car. Yeah. And so um, they get home. My dad's like, oh, they're all open to it. And then they're like, okay, well, let's meet him. Hmm. Because that's the real this challenge. This is a Monday. He yeah. comes home on a Monday. He w- it was a Monday when I told my parents about him. They were like, tell him to come over Thursday. Yeah. So I'm well, like, I'm, like thir- I'm, I'm in North Carolina. You know, it's only the hour and 20 minute flight, but yeah. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm nervous. Yeah, I've yeah. been through a lot of things in my life, right? Yeah, yeah. But this is the first time I'm truly like yeah. palms sweating. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to figure this out. Yeah, How yeah. do I do? I've never asked yeah. any man for his daughter's hand or family for permission to marry their daughter. And it's a big thing. It's a dude. big deal. I've yeah. never been married. I don't have any kids. And I'm like, how do how yeah. do I do this? How do I even approach it? How do I it's do It's like this? with everything else. In life, I mean, I was the same when I was proposing to to my wife. You know me. I never get shy or nervous mm-hmm. or anything. No, I seen it before but in that I podcast like, that we did. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but that it meant so uh-huh. much to me that when it came down to it, I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I like you. <laughs> like you know what I mean? <laughs> like it was on a boat and everything, and I was there was like, you know, a lump in my throat, <laughs> frog in the throat. Yeah, right? so yeah. it's like, but with everything in life, you're so controlled. Like you know, being at the top of your game and yeah. everything is organized, and you've been in the military. Like you're you're ready for any situation. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then you get to this, and it shows you a side of you that's quite vulnerable. There's no is, book. There's yeah. no book. There's no podcast. Trust me, I searched yeah, yeah. them all. Yeah, yeah. There's no book. There's no podcast. There's no YouTube video how to do mm-hmm. this. It's like you got to do this on your own. So I'm asking her questions, and then her and she doesn't know the she other. Doesn't I have know. no idea. So her older sister is helping us out, and then she's yeah. calling my her other sister, and then trying to help me figure out how to do this and try to navigate this. And it was just like, you know, let's just go do it. Yeah. Let's just go wow. knock on the door. And then he doesn't even believe like my answers sometimes. So I'll be like, listen, you're fine. I'm like you're lying, and he's on yeah, the yeah. internet for you're hours. You're trying to sabotage me. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to, to you in two hours. But listen, guys, I think I mean you missed out on this one. It would have been top top uh tiktok in the world but i do think you should have played around with turning it up wearing a string vest dreadlocks and a, and a rasta hat just, <laughs> just 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 as a joke just, just just to walk in and just look <laughs> at her dad time. look like at this. her dad's face yeah walking in and just walking like wah, wah. <laughs> just, just you know that girl no, it's funny time. when i told when i told her dad when i was from jamaica he was like yes i've been three times let me show you pictures <laughs> yeah and he's like i love jamaica i love kingston yeah. And I was like, wow. oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so, yeah, my family's very educated. Yeah, it's yeah. not like we're very closed-minded. Uh, we doctor, travel. You like see, it. my family's so yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. We go out. We yeah, talk yeah. to people. We love people. It's not like we're yeah. halas. It's like this is equal mm. this. And yeah, my family's very open. The most important thing that I was Muslim and that I wanted to raise Muslim kids. Yeah. And that was it. Everything else beyond, you got to make sure you're a perfect needed, person. Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, listen, you know, I want my grandkids to be Muslim. Are yeah. you, is that what you're going to do? Where's the, where's the Muslim schools in, in North Carolina? Where's, where's the, uh, where's the mosque? Where, yeah. You know, mm. stuff like that. And I'm like, let's, amazing. Dude. Let's go. I'm so happy for that. Yeah. Man. I'm so happy. And honestly, I, like everything happened so smoothly. Like I and knew so he was fast, the one. Yeah. Okay. Calm down. No, Mish but fa- I, w- I was sh- fast enough. It was no, fast, right? Yeah. It was fast, dude, because <laughs> she was like, I remember she was going, I came here. By the way. Yeah, she came here, and in then September. it was literally not long after she was like, "Dude, I'm getting married." And then I was like, "Yeah, well, what? When? What?" <laughs> like we, it was yesterday. Like I think if it wasn't for the connection in 2018 and 2019, I think we knew longer. then. We knew then that something was special, but we were so much growing. She was growing, mm. and she was starting a new journey in her life. I was growing in the journey I was, so the timing wasn't right. Mm. And then you know, we just we grew. You oh, wanna cry? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We grew individually, oh, yeah. and then we were mature enough, and we found out m- much about ourselves through our own journeys to know that we can come together and start a family. And what about the proposal? Did you do the, oh the, my the, the, the first, or did you do the proposal first? The proposal was like so beautiful, it was so intimate. Look at you, no, ready to cry. I'm just, just pre- cry. I'm just pretending. Just cry. I'm just pretending I care because I know some <laughs> lady fans are watching this, so that's uh, the only reason. I don't sure. really care, but tell me everything. <laughs> 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 well, um. I knew I knew what week it was happening. I just didn't know what day. Mm. And so like 
it, it, he was She's got in to New ruin York. Everything, right? Mm-hmm. I need to know what week. I couldn't. Yeah, I was yeah. dying because yeah. I didn't want to look dusty in my engagement <laughs> yeah. photos. I don't. You know, sometimes I wake I up. I met like, her oh. wearing slippers. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I, I don't want to like have engagement photos because I've seen people do it on yeah, hikes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's a fear of I've mine. I've seen people do it on Walmart and stuff. It's like you're like, not that one, please. I don't want to uh, yeah. in the gym, and he proposes. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll beat him up. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I would. That's <laughs> a fear of mine, looking yeah. weird and having a photographer take pictures of me, like during a special moment. So. Like it was four or five days of him and I, every day I was getting dressed yeah, up, yeah, yeah. makeup, the full thing. And I was like, oh my God, this is so intense. And then the proposal happened. He was like, yo, I'm taking you out to a dinner. So I got dressed. Um, and then I kind of felt like it was the day of because he was like acting weird on the phone, texting. Mm. Like he, he never texts like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he was doing a little bit of that. <laughs> I was like, ooh, he's being secretive. And so we pulled up to this hotel. Which yeah. hotel? Standard. Standard. And um, they have a, both of you don't remember. I don't understand yeah. this. They yeah. have a, uh, uh, a penthouse at the top. And I had flew my family in from North Carolina. I had ordered a, a bus to pick up her family from the house. And they all went there before us. And I told them that we were going to a sushi place where the chef picks the menu. You just go. It's mm. exclusive. You know, you don't just sit down. All and lies. It's o- and the it's man only is 13. lying to me left <laughs> and it's right. It's only 13 couples can go to this. And, yeah. and so... We went upstairs and she the elevator opens right into the penthouse and then boom she's she's there wow. okay and it was supposed to be like me and him moment but my family you know my family yeah. and his family they were there just yelling at each other like guys they're coming they're yeah. coming they're ready <laughs> so and then it was beautiful there was like flowers candles and then there was like a sign that said marry me and then he got on one knee and he said something very very sweet which was i'm uh, not gonna share it with yeah you. Okay. Right. It's private tell me after <laughs> and I will put it on it after edit it and put it back in the <laughs> put in the show notes. Yeah. But yeah, and then uh, he asked me if I would marry him, and I said I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing straightforward. Right? We saw how that thought went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then it, it worked. That's out. his way of going. Yep, I won. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, I actually forgot it today because I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did see you that? notice that? I did not notice that. Oh my god, I forgot it today. But I so am in <laughs> psychiatry, there's something called red flags. That was a big one. That, I'm having it live right now. That was a red. flag I did leave mine yesterday. I, I, I'm so just, new at this. I just realized yeah. she's been sitting like that the whole time. I know. I, like, I can't believe it. But, but let me tell you something. I have she curly knew I'd hair. She knew I tried to steal it. That's why. Yeah, I have curly hair, and, and so anytime, there. yeah, anytime yeah. you have to put cream or anything, you don't want like the diamond to get cloudy or dirty. Yeah. So like, I take it off. And then because cream does that to a diamond, it clouds the whole yeah, diamond. It does. Yeah. Okay. I so hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much, dude. Let me tell you about a funny <coughs> experience that me and May had. So, my friend goes, "Hey, listen, if May wants to do anything, let me know. We'll hook it up." I was like, yeah, look, a bunch of us are going to go to dinner. Um, can you hook up a dinner? He goes, yeah, sure. We'll go to this place. It's on the top of the Burj Al Arab. It's really nice or whatever. Burj Khalifa. Burj, Burj, Burj Khalifa. Khalifa. Yeah. Ends up being me and her going there. From the start we meet, <laughs> we're, we're, we're shouting to each other like, like riffraff. Dude. Like riff- brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah. Worse. Yeah. Riffraff, dude. We get in there. You're wearing khaki trousers. I'm like, what's wrong with my khaki trousers? She's like, what is it? I was like, you so look like a 40 year old dad. Yeah, Why yeah. are you here? We think, we think this is just a normal dinner. We get up there. This is the most romantic place in Dubai, dude. And we're sitting there going, oh, we don't belong here, dude. <laughs> no, it was like, so not, awkward. Not just from the romance, from the class, the level of class <laughs> of the people that were in there. We were like, we are not supposed to be here. <laughs> we sit down. And I'm telling you, there's people who are like proposing to each other there. And you. we're throwing sh- sushi at each other <laughs> and laughing. And she's like, there's food coming out of her mouth and everything. And we're cracking up laughing. This guy with a violin comes and starts <laughs> playing Ed Sheeran. And I turn around and go, mate, this is the wrong table. Go over there and do it over there. It was the weirdest experience. And then I spent the next 45 minutes taking pictures of her. There you go. In front of the, <laughs> the reflection, which by the way, every picture was wrong. And I'm sitting there. Welcome to my life. Feeling really embarrassed because people are looking. They don't know our situation. They're like, poor guy, that must be the worst relationship in the world. He spends his whole time taking pictures of her. And you she know, was arguing with that me. That they're wrong and they're wrong. I know, we also started with, we sat down and we're arguing wow. with each other. She's like, are you ever gonna stop talking? I'm like, what, what, what are we no, supposed to do? Say, you're making me sound so bad. If no, no, I knew it was, this. It was one of the funniest lunches I've ever had if, the, if i knew whatever. this podcast was a setup i would have came prepared <laughs> but literally he picks me up and she's going this food is rubbish <laughs> <laughs> well 
Well, thank you for having me on your podcast, Deborah. This is <laughs> it's an been honor. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he picks me up hungry, and he's talking a thousand miles per an hour to me. I pick her up hungry to go to dinner. So most people should be hungry when they're yeah, going to eat. So Sounds logical. Yeah, hungry. Yeah. Let's get to the place. Yeah. He's getting lost. Of course, he doesn't know where he's going. I'm like, don't you live here? Then we get to the thing. I, he's continuing dude, to talk to I've me while I'm hungry. I've never been allowed in that do, kind do, do, of do, establishment. Do. That's no. why I was getting lost. I wasn't familiar with the road. He's going, do, 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 I do, stick do. to I'm the shawarma places. I know where they are. I don't know where this place is. We get up there. Yeah. I'm already pissed off. He's wearing khakis. <laughs> it's a fancy place. I keep it's looking really at him. It's really fancy. The and I'm wearing like trainers. I need us trainers. And, like, the fact that it's a fancy place. He's wearing yeah. khakis and I'm hungry. And he's talking to me. He's all adding up you know all these are things little things i'm being patient 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 then she was being patient with a friend having a conversation <laughs> while waiting for the food that's her idea of being patient mm. then it gets worse because we sit in the restaurant it's romantic and he's talking to me <laughs> and at that point i'm so single i'm so upset i'm so hungry and i have a, a, a dude across playing from me who's married and the other guy playing and the, violin. the guy comes playing the violin i'm like what the hell but it's okay add this up but it was a fun it was a fun meal right it was a fun meal because we, we actually yeah. had, like roast each other yeah, it yeah. was really fun and it was also fun because you were leaving the next day so <laughs> it was like <laughs> really good and then and it, we should it was go there again one time yeah yeah, yeah. actually Dress properly. Let, me, let me do it for you guys yeah. before you go no, yeah, that would time. be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that <laughs> and I'll be, be like, nice. so this time Are you they want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like we said before, <laughs> I did tell you I was either going to be a part of your wedding or your honeymoon. I was yeah. going to ruin something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Whether so come on, let's wedding. go together. I couldn't, I couldn't come to the wedding, but, um, you know, I'm yeah, glad to be a part of your part honey, of honeymoon, honeymoon yeah. you know. This is something that one of my goals is done in Just life. Just be prepared. Eat a carrot before you meet up with him or something <laughs> that gives you energy. Because he was talking so fast for so long. Carrots don't give you energy. <laughs> Whatever. They help you see in the dock. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? I mean, let's let's look at it from this side. How do you, is, I guess you being an influencer, I don't want to answer the question for you. I don't, an influencer, what a stupid word. Mm -hmm. But being in the industry of, of, you know, having cameras around you and having your own platforms and stuff, did it bother you at all that she was a star in her own right? No, I think it, I think it was good for both of us, especially for me, because, you know, some people get annoyed with you being on your phone or having a cameraman on vacation. Like when I, when I travel, you know, it's a business expense and there's a camera guy at some portion mm -hmm. of it. And so my mm -hmm. camera guys travel the world with me. And for some people that's pretty annoying mm -hmm. um but we think we both understand what we do for a living and we're we're privileged i think we're very privileged to be able to make make money just showing our life mm -hmm. and so for her to understand that for me to understand it you know there's roles i walk into a certain room i'm the star she walks into a certain room she's a star and i'm holding her bags and so we understand that dynamic with, with each other like she comes to Dubai, she's the star. I'm just the guy holding the bags. Mm -hmm. We go to somewhere in the I'm United so glad States. That there's someone else other than me who's holding the bags. Yeah, now. <laughs> now I get yeah official bag holder, <laughs> and then we go to somewhere. We do a real estate event, and it's completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, your your reply to that same. Or? Yeah, and I think it's really hard to find somebody when you're when you have so much attention or some uh, like somebody who gets it. Mm. So that would be like I think even the last, even though you hated the last podcast, I would talk mm. about it. Like I'd be dating dudes and they'd be like, "Yo, I want I I don't want to date an influencer." And I'm like, "Oh, I just uh, I just yeah. do videos with my mom. Oh, yeah. I just do videos." Like they didn't respect it. They couldn't handle the 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 fame or like so many people coming up to you. Or, so it was hard and like the fact that we get it and even like yesterday we had a conversation because we are on our phones it's our work and i'll be like it, we have such good communication that even if we feel like disconnected because we're in that world we can easily like talk to each other because i was like hey do you i'm like uh, i'm not trying to say you are but like do you feel like we're on our phones a lot together and then he mm -hmm. was like no this is uh, like how we work i'm like okay if you ever feel like we're distant or something just let me know like yeah. we have that open conversation it's really easy yeah some people get like i said some people truly get annoyed with it but we know like if i'm picking up my phone i'm either signing a big contract dealing with a huge project out of the you know or problem from our 26 employees or you know dealing with something else or i'm creating a posting content that mm -hmm. has to be meet a certain deadline mm -hmm. and it's not like i'm just flicking through the news or something it's work mm -hmm. yeah but no, let's find out how much you two both know each other. Oh God! Oh, wow. <laughs> let me let me just we, do. It. We act like we have such open communication. We better prove it yeah, right yeah. now. Prove it. We'll so let's, let's, to let's, prove let's, it. let's just do a quick fire round. 
Okay. So we'll start with <laughs> Max being the subject, then you're going to answer the questions. Oh, wow. Bismillah. <laughs> you don't have to get these right, baby. <laughs> What's his favorite song ever? His favorite song ever? He likes African music, but I don't know which, like Afro beats. Pretty wide range of music. <laughs> there, but okay, I'll take that. Just give me What's a genre. His, what's his favorite color? Black. No, 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 wait. I Wait, I like it. It's like this auburn orange, like a, a dark brown orange, right? Yeah. No, don't Kinda write like him. That. Don't write him. I yeah. Don't know. We're, we're, we're no, but, I, but he constantly answers. wears black. Like black is his favorite color to wear. Who's his favorite comedian? Maysville. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but really? What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> no, look at me. Don't look at him. Say don't look at him for like, reactions. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Um, his favorite comedian, I think, is Dave Chappelle. Okay. Who's his favorite food? His favorite food. I'm never coming on this podcast again. Translate that, what you just said, because I want to show him again how our Arab words are really strange. I said, what a dark and doomed night. <laughs> we have such a weird way of, of saying things. Um... His favorite food. You know this. Anything I cook. Um, so I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> so toast. <laughs> Wait, I know this. You do know. Yeah, look at me. Don't, don't try and get stuff from I'm his, from his mom, eyes. Her mom makes it for me all the time. Uh, well, hey, 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 hey. But she Come makes on, a lot of food. Don't put, don't put, yeah. don't, don't help right. her out. You're right, you're right. I'll be quiet. <clears throat> what is your favorite food? Lamb? No, goat? Lamb? No. I don't know. I'm on the spot. This is a lot of pressure. It's weird, right? When you have to, if, usually you'd be able to answer this easily. Yeah, so no answer for that. You've literally left him starving. I know I know the answer. Give him a pizza or anything at least to eat while you're thinking about the... To be what? fair, I don't know any of the answers to the, if you ask me the same question. Yeah, okay, them. Can you give me a clue? He did. No. Your mom cooks it for him all My the mom time. makes so much. Yeah, she well, does. She's one that you've seen him go... After he's this is him and in front of any plate. <laughs> any any, any plate, so it's sure. very different. I like to eat. Yeah. If he could Are you going to give me a clue? No, no, we'll answer them no. after later. If we could, if he could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? In North Carolina with me. <laughs> and that definitely mm. is the right answer. If I have a dude. Uh, we look at the edit and he's just going. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you missed Tahiti. <laughs> and then. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good round. I felt like you did well. Thank you. Mm. One more question. What did he want to be when he grew up, when he was a kid? Married to me. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing has changed. I'm we'll trying. get on the answer. Max, we're going to change the subject now. Sure. Please. What's her favorite song? Favorite song. I don't know. Oh. What's her favorite food? Uh, I would say lamb. As in, no, 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 let's dish. Don't take an easy answer. That's a very, no. that's a very uh, good answer. You're I like, yeah, I'm going to choose an animal and say that, which is a million dishes. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't if, answer. Like if her mom's cooking, it'd be like fried cauliflower. Mm. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice meal. I like that yeah. too. Who's a favorite comedian? Favorite comedian. Shiver with Jabba. Bes no, besides herself? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Besides herself? <laughs> I love that, and that is the answer. I yeah. love yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think she probably likes Kevin Hart. Okay. Right if now. She, if she could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Uh, this might get her in trouble. Probably Dubai. Yeah, buddy. She's been... Pressure me to buy something she, she's, out here. She's had the best dinners in her life yeah. in this country. Yeah, so I heard. Be surprised. Tall buildings. And what does she want to be when she grew up? I don't know if it was. Uh, there's two answers, and I'll try to see if I get two in there. I don't know if it's what she wanted to be, but what she was going towards was a doctor, mm -hmm. but an actress. Okay. Guys, now I don't know the answers to either of these questions, yeah. so they could have done really well or they could have done really bad. Let's try and replay them. So. Comedian? Uh, Dave you Chappelle. You can both answer. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I got it right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. awesome. Yours was? Dave Chappelle too. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, I don't think there should ever be another answer that to, that, yeah. to anyone. Yeah, yeah, he's a legend. Like, he's a legend for sure. By far. Dave by Chappelle, far. if you ever watch the show, I know not a lot of people watch the show because Jabber is the host, but Dave Chappelle, <laughs> we would love to meet you. It's kind of funny that- No I've Jabber met, included. I've met, I've met Dave Chappelle. It's kind of funny Have that you? he's on on Tuesday yeah. Oh, yeah. and you will never be able to come. He's on on Tuesday, for real? Just saying. I think I'm free. <laughs> All right, what did you want to be when you grew up, Wes? It's quite interesting. I'd like to know people's... Uh, I wanted to be an FBI agent. Nice. 
Um, he was right about the doctor thing because you know I have Arab parents, so yeah. <laughs> of course I was going to yeah, be either, either engineer, engineer or, doctor. or doctor, yeah. Yeah. or lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but actress. Nice. When I was younger. Favorite foods? Because uh, I'm I'm, I'm trying to educate you about your own soup. Yes. Soup. It's just oh, any soup. Oh darn it! Wow. Yeah, I don't know how you. I that one. missed that Literally one. Literally every out. time we go somewhere, she knows she's ordered a soup for me. <sighs> she doesn't. Um. I will say I'm not perfect, but you know I'm pretty near it, so I um, I I miss that one. But my favorite food is avocado I love the salad. Way she had to put in something about herself <laughs> being the best before <laughs> she answered a question which had nothing to do with that. Stop nodding. But this is why you love her. Stop. Right? That's exactly why yeah. I love her. Stop. Okay, I like avocado salad and fried cauliflower. So he's right. Nice. Expensive avocado though, not the regular stuff. Yeah. Like the eighteen dollars avocado. Pinky up bougie. Yeah, that <laughs> what was one. wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was. A, that's how you see how yeah. poor I am. I thought avocado was avocado. I didn't know there was a difference. It is, but you, you gotta pick mark the thing up, up the top and then you look. If it's brown, it's good. If it's green, it's not. You gotta <laughs> mark the price up, and that's the one yeah. to eat. Let's honest questions, not not the what you think the answer should be mm. because sometimes people have a a way to say things oh uh, no nah. what mm. is your favorite thing about max if you had to choose one one quality or one thing that really stands out to you i can't believe this turned into this is your life as opposed to my oh podcast, my god but, uh, um i think my favorite thing about max is how supportive he is mm. like i can tell him Hey, I want to start a screwdriving business or like yeah. something random, like, like a race Phillips car. Or flathead. <laughs> and then he'll like laugh in the meeting, and then we'll like really work together. Like we work, we always like work together. Mm. So that's my favorite thing. Like he supports me even when I'm like doing a comedy show or he a supports skit. Us now, this is a family <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the, my number one like supporter. It's oh. my favorite thing about him. And what's your favorite thing about me? I would say that she could bring light to any situation because people take life sometimes too serious. Mm -hmm. Life can be dark sometimes. She's always finding that silver lining in anything. So just and that's you need that, right? Especially in this day and age. And then when we're around, we make light of everything. That's why we can never really argue because mm. we end up laughing. Yeah. It's yeah. Like we our arguments literally last. Alhamdulillah. Actually, let me yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me I know feel like most about. of the time your arguments he won't even know what you're talking about yeah like, what are we arguing about here i just don't understand what's going on and you're just like neither do i but i felt like i needed to argue yeah. about something okay no we're can good. i can i share about like one time we were um on an airplane and i just was so emotional i don't know if i was watching a movie or something yeah. or what and i start crying and then i was Out trying to cry inside be quiet sorry <laughs> I start crying and it was a silence. tarantino movie so you were like why is she crying <laughs> yeah i was trying to cry and then and then he starts talking to me. So I start shifting my face like this. I'm like, yeah, everything's okay. He's like, are you crying? I'm like, yeah. And then I start bursting. I'm like, oh, I don't know why <laughs> I'm crying. But I feel like it. He was like, oh. He's like, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> He's like very understanding that I'm like un up and down. <laughs> <laughs> that's excitement I he's talking like about I feel like we need a group hug now I'm very yeah, emotional big, big <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love the way this is going so let's ask some of the questions that you ask people oh. to each other oh that's interesting okay see uh, the thing about me is I, I can't can remember any, any of them <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's talk about friends and mm. friends and how it works can you how do you feel about each other's friends when it comes to the opposite sex mm. and it, it doesn't it, bother me like for her to have male friends I think make this one good because this is my clip for Instagram. One minute. Yeah, so. yeah. Is it? <laughs> oh, girl. Friends. Yeah. Oh, friends. okay. No, no. <laughs> no, but seriously yeah. though, I mean that's the politically correct thing to say. But no, it it, it really does. no. Okay. There has to be boundaries. No, there's there boundaries. Be I think boundaries. people like. I mean, she talks to you on the yeah, phone, yeah, and yeah. I've never met you prior to today. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I've never felt a way about. But yeah, that. but that's because I answer the phone and fart on the <laughs> phone. So you're like, this guy is not serious. They would never I, be. She would never ever be attracted I to this guy. So I think there's safe. professional people, yeah, yeah. right? And I think that, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, humans are humans. You're gonna do whatever they want to do, whether they're doing yeah, it in yeah. front of your face or behind your back. Um, but it doesn't truly bother me now. Like you know there's a certain extent to where mm. that takes, right? Like mm. you can't be going to Bish Khalifa now to the top yeah, yeah. of the towers. Unless uh, with, it's with, with me because with, you know oh, I'll yeah, be wearing exactly, slippers exactly. And, 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 <laughs> but, you know, and a cap. Yeah, and but a cap there is, there, I don't, yeah. I really, really doesn't bother me. Does it, does it matter if it's, cause you know, there's, there's grandfathered in mm -hmm. and there's Look new friends. Him. 
and these hand gestures are very important. He's just trying to say his grandfather no, did. Yeah, I'm clear, dude. I'm <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he does not see me as a threat in the slightest. <laughs> no, <laughs> so the thing say, about us is we're what very... what about people who are... No, we're very open. So, like, if I have a conversation with a friend who's a guy, I'll put it on speaker. I'll mm. fill him in. I'll tell him what's going on. Like, it's, it, there's a level of respect. I'm not, like, texting on the lower If he's on the that. conversation with a girl who's a new friend. It, I mean, is, are, are oh, new a new friend? Normal? Like, where would she come from? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> who is she? Who How is, is she? <laughs> She's just, what, she was sitting on a table with his no, parents no. on her. <laughs> no, he can't. No new friends. Only, he can only no talk to his friends. family. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I think in business, we both have conversations yeah. with the opposite sex. And it's, some of them are, are closer than others as far as like the conversation will continue but i don't think there's there's that but like if i'm hanging out with a friend it's gonna be a girl like i'm yeah. not gonna be going out and be like yo i'm gonna hang yeah, out but with my you friend say that but with you especially specifically where you're doing a lot of social media and tiktok and stuff you you, you go to these events and then you meet to let's say for example the, yeah, da- the Davy brothers I, right the, ba- the, the, Dave, the Debbie brothers oh yeah yeah so it's like you might not have known them before this event, but because you guys share stuff and you're going to do TikTok with each other in the future and that kind of stuff, they become new but I think friends. That's, I think that's business. I think that's people on the outside, that's what we do for a living. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I don't think like I, I have female associates that I have associated with for business, whether it's real estate deals or whether it's something else, you know, I don't, I don't see that as a thing, but there's a level of where do you cross that line, right? Where is mm-hmm. it, where is it not work? Yeah, and I think like like the the Hubby brothers, for example, shout out to them if they're watching. Um, like I've bought Max around where we're all hanging out. Mm. It's not like it's just me and one of the brothers mm-hmm. or like there's I don't know. I feel like there's there's boundaries. I don't I, I wouldn't put myself in a situation or if I did like he would be around. I think ultimately I think, you got to have respect for the other respect. person. Exactly. You know where the level the line is. Yeah. Right. So I don't think there's a boundary that says no male friends or no female friends. There's a level. That you know, hey, look, I you going too crazy now mm. at this point. So yeah, yeah, and I think we we started off with trust, like full trust. So mm. Mm. what are some of the other questions that you ask? How important is money to you in a relationship? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I am in love. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> She's just like Alhamdulillah. I am life fully is satisfied. Get, I mean, so the, the comments we can talk about, like comments yeah, that let's happen. Talk about People that. talk about, um, you know, that she only married you for money. Oh, people say that to you? No, it's in the comments on both of our stuff, right? Oh, yeah, Especially yeah. now. Yeah, we yeah. just did a post about me giving her money for the vacation. Yeah, yeah I saw that, yeah. Which is a complete skit. Which is, yeah, it's funny. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, Was it a skit? Because I still have the money, honey. <laughs> 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 okay. It wasn't even my money. It was, yeah. it was. People don't know she makes money too. Like, it just, <laughs> like it's you know she makes more than enough yeah. for herself. Um, but yeah, people think we're. I think it's first of all. I think it's very important that the man is able to uh, provide for mm. his family and his spouse. If not, you should not even be considering having one. Mm. In my opinion, whatever level that is, um, and you shouldn't be out there dating if you don't have your crap together, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people do that, dude. You see a lot of people, they, they, they're just fronting and I, going I to these expensive it. restaurants on dates, and you're like, dude, you can't afford this lifestyle. What are yeah. you doing? But not, even, not only that, but why, why are you dating a, another person and you personally don't have your things together? Mm-hmm. You think that being yeah, yeah. together is going to make it work? More like so in America, in there's this like weird thing where it's like struggle love is so like romantic and it's like a positive thing if you're riding or dying. And I'm mm. like, no, not really, because if you show up to my house and you like I don't date for fun. So if we're dating mm. and you show up to my house and you say, hey, I can barely pay my own rent. I want to take your daughter out of your stable house mm. and, and marry her and take her to this level when you're she's comfortably living at home here my dad would take his shoe off and mm. chase you out of the house. Like, I that mean, would never we be We do want to get rid of her, but not, not that, that bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know? you're, you're married. What yeah, is the yeah. number one things that women look for in a relationship? When I got married, I was shredded. <laughs> so that, that, <laughs> that, that, worked, that worked for me. Be- beyond I that. did look like Thor. But beyond, <laughs> beyond that, beyond no, the no. number one thing is... Is stability. That's it. So yeah. when, when somebody says she only married you, if, she, if the answer is she only married you for money, hmm. but if she married you because you had your shit together. There's nothing wrong with that. There's yeah. nothing, I there's expect, nothing wrong with that. I expect her to go yeah. out and find somebody to get their shit together. Yeah. I, that's I mean, a, that's, that's a normal <laughs> thing. Who, who would want <laughs> exactly. to, who would go out there going, I married that I'm homeless looking, man. Yeah, I want to marry someone who hasn't got their shit together. Like, no, uh, I know he's going to make it yeah. one day. It sounds good for I a mean, story yeah. if you both go up, but yeah, the reality. But, I mean, it's being safe because it's not just that. It's. Okay, then what happens when we have kids? What happens when? Exactly. What happens if, Allah, you have twins and you have to buy 
I think when I counted, it was something like 6,942 nappies that they that they went through in the first year. Nappies you know is what, I mean? what? Diapers? Diapers, yeah. Oh, right? okay. Like, this stuff costs money. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Lucky I was an influencer and I got sponsored by a nappy <laughs> brand, but but you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, a lot. Like, life is hard enough without financial struggle. Mm. So why, I mean, unless, you know, there's one thing where you meet someone and you can see they're trying and you can see they're on a, they're on a, mm -hmm. they're doing their thing, they're on a collision, they might not have got there yet, but they have a vision, they have a goal and they're working towards it. It's another thing getting married to someone who just has no, yeah, nothing no going for them, no ambition, no, yeah, no, nothing. It's like, yeah, you're hot, I fancy you, but yeah. I mean, it, looks and all that stuff they'll drizzle out and, and then I, what yeah, exactly yeah. Uh, what is it called L not lust but like when you have a connection of, yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know what you're talking um, about. some shit but yeah <coughs> but i mean like that's, a connection that's, I think doesn't that's, mean like it lasts forever. i think that's one thing that's pretty upfront with islam that i like is that mm. you you have that yo how stable are you mm -hmm. like it's okay it's well, okay you, you for the father here. to ask hi, yeah. hey how stable are you not just that it's, it's quite funny because they're like okay what's the down, down payment yeah <laughs> like you come with a mahar you literally yeah, be like hey, hey look I'm showing you this is what I can bring to the table. Yeah, and I wanted her family to be comfortable because she was moving from New York to North Carolina. Yeah. So they all came down to North Carolina. They got to see the offices we have, the houses and stuff like that. And it was like, okay, they feel comfortable because who wants to send their loved one hmm. to another state with somebody that they don't know as much as the person that they're sending and hmm. say, okay, have a good life. I yeah. don't think that's fair. Mm -hmm. What daughter would want to send that? What mother would want to send that? What brother would want to send his sister? So I think it's important to ask those questions mm. like, hey, how like how stable are you? Are you struggling mm. or what's going on? You know, yeah. But also, again, the love and the communication and that kind of stuff is important because very the way the world works, touch, touch break wood, you could in one day lose everything. 100%. So that's when that comes back into it yeah. and, and you mm. start building from the beginning and you need that, too, because if you're only in it for the money and this has happened many times where of course where people will, a woman would find a man who's rich or whatever he loses everything and she's like all right cool i'm out like i, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't actually like you <laughs> do you know what i mean so it's important to have a balance between the two i think no you're 100 percent right there's a there's a balance but there's you have and she's to have like, <laughs> and so let's let's also talk about there, ha there doesn't have to be like a the person doesn't have to be rich mm just has to be stable exactly right there's a difference level of success right yeah, i'm yeah. not saying somebody has to be a millionaire for yeah. them to, you just need to be have you know two feet solidly on the ground yeah how did you feel about leaving home because it was everything you knew oh my god until then right so emotional and i still feel like it hasn't like fully processed it hasn't no. it hasn't you? you've been partying since you left i know basically you know I mean? like we haven't once spent one night in our new yeah, house yeah. we haven't yeah it's, it's really like a crazy process because like all you know is like this house, like I grew up in that house. And then like, next thing I know, like we're getting married, I'm packing my bags. I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? I felt like a train hit me. And then like, I would get so emotional. And then I'm like, oh my God, I was like four years old here. And then like, I create videos with my mom every day. So I'm like, oh my God, and, like, I guess I'm gonna FaceTime her now. It's like a whole new like yeah. chapter. So it's crazy. And did you feel, did you feel like they were relieved? Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I, I she's think tearing up about it. No, it's like it's still processing. Yeah. So like it's hard to think about. But. I mean, you got to think we got married on a Saturday. We flew to North Carolina on a Sunday. We Sounds packed like Craig pack. David song, yeah, right? Yeah, we yeah, it <laughs> does, right? on a it's Monday <laughs> to North Carolina <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> I gave her seven hundred dollars on <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like got that. to do bye bye yeah. Thursday. Oh. But no, seriously, podcast on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> We you guys need to never <laughs> hang out yeah. with each other. No, I dude, swear I know exactly this, yeah, you talking guys. about. <laughs> the funniest thing is, I got you, man. For yeah, life, yeah, for life yeah, now, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> you're gonna get two calls now, <laughs> one straight to him. Like you're literally gonna be in bed, and I'm, you're gonna look over, and I'm gonna be like, ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But so we we have it. Really hasn't processed, and I know there's gonna be that time of her adapting to North Carolina. It's slower. You know, you don't have to look for parking everywhere you go. And you know she's he away. Cannot stand New York. She's away from. She's first time she's ever moved out and been away from home in twenty plus years. So there's going to be a, an adjustment. But we literally haven't. We got married and we we were on the road for a month. Mm. You but guys sound like a band. Yeah. 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 Seriously, it's like a without a name crazy yet. Life. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think like my mom is really happy. Obviously that I found my soulmate. But then at the same time, I can tell that she's. She's like, she misses me. Mm. 
And plus, the house is very quiet without me. There's nobody that causes as much ruckus mm. and drama From as I. From the second they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth, everybody. <laughs> That's yeah. literally how I would yeah. wake up. I'm like, Mama, yeah. I want some eggs. Yeah. And she'd be like, oh my God. Literally like my four-year-olds. <laughs> like I yeah. imagine her to be exactly like my twins. <laughs> literally, they come in the room at six in the morning to let me know they're awake. <laughs> and I'm like, good for you. <laughs> I'm not, or at least I wasn't. <laughs> so now go somewhere. Like, Baba, I'm awake. Uh, mm, morning, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. But it, it's not that bad because she's like an hour away. Like, yeah. I can take a flight anytime. And uh, yeah, she's not, she's not gone. <laughs> she's around. Feeling the heart. But I will say, I, will, I am enjoying time. Yeah. We are enjoying our time away from each other because it's very important. We're always in front of each other. It's kind of like university now, right? You're doing your uni dorms now. You're, yeah. you're, you're living out in I know, that's dorms. the mind free moment yeah, yeah. right now. So where it hits me. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in dorm, I'm dorming. Well, I'm sure there'll be a video that comes out when you get when it hits you. You're going to create some kind of <laughs> something. <I'm sure. laughs> yeah. And what's. I'm okay, sure. so what does the future hold for you two? Apart from obviously being married, are you guys going to. I think like think about uh, kids and mm, calm down with <laughs> calm down with that. Well, you're like but 52 I, now. There's not long left. Wow, he's 51. Th that bro. is, like 51. he's like 95. I've got to be respectful. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like 95. I've, I've got to kind of be careful because it's like this is a whole different dynamic. <laughs> no, she's like, 51. I'm now I'm chilling with you and your husband. So the usual jokes I I would say would be like. <laughs> Wait, is that respectful? <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I actually say that? But Lucky Max, he realized that I, there's something not right with me. So it's like, <laughs> and he says you know, these yeah, jokes yeah, yeah. to me yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. So. so, you know, you look at someone, you're like, yeah, he's not right. I'll let it slip. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, future, we want to like build on our content and make it better and bigger, bigger ideas. Um, family uh, is important. We're going to see what kids like down the road like a few years maybe mm. <laughs> there's never a right time um, yeah we know w yeah there's never a right time and then we're thinking of like creating businesses together uh, like uh we should i say the no okay oh uh, we have like business ideas together well, there all the exclusives <laughs> that everybody watches for it's like the fourth thing they're like <laughs> shall we random no. things yeah. <laughs> there's things that we have opening together we want to open channels together and like yeah we'll have we'll have a youtube combined together um, she'll have her own stuff. I've had a staff for the last couple few years and she, we've, we've hired more people to start helping her with her brand. She needs an assistant. She's done everything by herself for the yeah. last few years, which is just overwhelming. I mean, so I, now I she'll did have most help. of the camera work and pictures and stuff. But and yeah, she told she him did. you're wrong every time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I get it. You need a better Listen, assistant than me. It's hard for guys to yeah. take your your pictures, first of all, because guys just be like, okay, here. Yeah, because you we have don't to get the care. scenery. Do you, you know how I take a selfie? Angle. <laughs> and then I go, oh, my nose looks big in that picture. And then I remind myself, your nose is big, so it's going to look big in every picture. It's good. <laughs> no, Let's move if forward. you knew your angle, huh? it would look smaller. If you knew your angles, it would look smaller. It's a lot of work, dude. Women. See? And then you have to get the scenery. Guys never get, like, what's around you. They get your, your forehead, and they're like, yeah, you're in it. That's not how you take a picture. <laughs> I don't work <sighs> Anyways, for you. Yeah, <laughs> You do know that, right? <laughs> he was saying that too when I was yelling at him. I'm like, you're taking dude, the worst photos. Dude, you know the funny thing? It was she was running backwards and forth to me after every photo. Literally. I want to see. I want to see. So yeah, no. <laughs> Look at it. And then insulting me. And then telling me to take more. So not only are the insults getting worse every time. Mm -hmm. But you think it's okay to hurt my feelings. <laughs> and then ask for something. Oh, after that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's me encouraging it you. Is, it is like a sibling That's rivalry. That's me telling you, know? you, you are doing a terrible, horrible job. That's I had the to Arab ask way you. of encouraging someone, right? <laughs> I hate you. You'll never amount to nothing. Now fix my car. It's it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is fix true. Fix my brakes. Yeah. So you now have become a production. Yeah. Essentially, as a couple. Yeah. So we, our name is, my name is Max Maxwell. Her name is May. So we, we made a production company. Yeah. And I think I think as a content creator, like your 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 life and your content should never be stagnant. It should never be the same story over yeah. and over again. You need mm. to be able to be fluid and change and have your story evolve. And so for me, like this new new chapter is um, sharing a new story with people. You know, mm. it's not like 
I'm bringing people on the journey along with me saying, hey, yeah, I know I was single and I had a lot of single content. Now I'm married. We're gonna, I'm having a lot of married content and I still have like the, a family dynamic and I'm still an Egyptian American girl going through uh, things in America. You're, you're still going to see culture. my mother file. We have like video monitors at the house. Yeah. So, so it's just going to open a new avenue of, of followers as well because you know which is the real reason why she wanted a husband it's just like uh. this is getting not getting no. as many views right now i need to do <laughs> no. something different Change something yeah i need to do something different that so she'll be like true. okay i need to get married that is not true but whatever yeah. um yeah so it's just like i feel like you should always be fluid and i always say that like I, I feel like people that always do a singing video over and over again it gets boring but for me like i truly enjoy creating content i truly enjoy meeting people and connecting with them and saying yo my my mom's like that my family's like that oh my god i'm, I'm just as goofy like i don't lead with beauty and and, and like things because i want to well i have that I'm wait i'm sorry i what? have that just in case but yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but like i'm saying like uh, for me my content is deeper it's it, it's like connecting with people and and seeing the things that i never got to see growing up mm. you know like images and and of women that i never got to see growing up so for me the content is very important for it to grow and evolve with me man that's amazing did that sound genuine Sounded real. Should I take my shoe <laughs> off and up and left? What was it, left or right? No, up <laughs> I mean, left. Up and left. Up and left. <laughs> up and left. <laughs> Should I take it off and up and left? Up and left. Um, dude, you know, the one thing is I really appreciate you guys coming down because I know you're on your honeymoon. And, you know, it means a lot to me that you took out the time. And obviously because I got to meet my new brother-in-law. <laughs> um, and I have so many more things to talk about. But obviously I can't because... May was doing her makeup for an hour. <laughs> hour. And you guys have a dinner to go to. Um, dinner in the sky. Are you, are you uh, excited about that? Are you scared? Yeah, I mean, every time I come to do something in Dubai, I forgot that everything is times a thousand here. So, like, mm. I remember last time I booked zip lining, and I was like, yay, I did it in Puerto Rico one time where I zip lined from a tree to a tree. Yeah. <laughs> then I look in up. In Puerto Rico, you literally zip lined from, from friends' tree. houses to each other's yeah, house. Yeah, like something calm. So I thought it was going to be cool and fun. And then I look up zip lining in dubai and you're like on the yeah, 50th yeah. floor Jebel, of a building yeah, and yeah. they push you off and yeah. i'm like this is skydiving <laughs> i'm like i'm not doing this so he pulls up a youtube video today of dinner in the sky and i thought it was gonna be like of course no it's 50, 50 meters meters in the sky. yeah and now i'm having feet. anxiety thinking about it it's really nice and you know that it rotates as well thanks as it's taking oh. off and, and it's in the it dark rotates, so it's yeah. a good view tonight oh see so, yes. but look you're, you're doing the I actually know the owner of Dinner in the Sky, so maybe I might call him now just to ruin your dinner and be like, just, just hey, pop dude, up. listen, I need another seat. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I'll be there in half an hour. Up. Yeah. What else did we See miss what out? happens Is if you Is there anything that. else that, that we missed out? We've got the three minutes left because, well, what, because what, of your timing that you, you ruined. Did you finish like, what you wanted you to do in the, in the future? Your future plans? I don't think you said yours. Oh, I mean, we have this... I'm just going to keep growing my brand and then we're going to grow a brand together. And we created a production company. Uh, was it 3M? I thought it was M3. Yeah, it's M cubed. Oh, M cubed. Yeah. Because our it's names. Fourth one. S cubed. One, two, three. May, four, four. Max, Maxwell. Four. M. And Mustafa. Where's the fourth <laughs> one? A cube is four. <laughs> yeah, no, ah. cubed is so, to the three. So, uh, squared. Oh my God. What? Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Fair enough. Whatever. Lord. I was going to let it slide. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to have my back. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was going to let it we're go. We're podcasters, yeah? So yeah. this is, we're supposed to have it back. Um, do you want to send out any links to any of your stuff for, for the people? For the people, them? <laughs> for the people, them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, uh, follow us. Uh, just look me up. My name is Max Maxwell on Instagram. I'm there. It's not a very no, Jamaican a name. Ma I thought it would be something like, you know, Trevor. very Jamaican, like Trevor Maxwell. Bolt. Yeah, Trevor <laughs> Maxwell. <laughs> No, but your username, you said it wrong. The real Maxwell. Yeah, but if you just search my name. It'll come not, up? Yeah, there's not many. <laughs> He's Max like, Max hey, I'm a, wow. pretty, I'm a pretty big deal. So just uh, <laughs> put my name in the internet and they'll tell you. Yeah, just search go. Google and yeah. whatever platform you're on. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Uh, we do vlogs, vlogs, all of that stuff. Cool. Uh, well, my name is May and you can find me on May's Vault. M A I. Do, do people still <laughs> call you Maze? Because yeah. they don't. Yeah, so many talk, people do that. that. Yeah, let's oh do that. God. What is your name? My yeah. name is May. Yeah, let's do that, guys. M A I. You yeah, know, this is very important. No, no. Yeah. So many people are like, oh, how's Maze? And I'm like, that, that's a type of corn. <laughs> <laughs> like, Maze. that's not her. Her name is May. 
Okay, so there's no apostrophe. Uh, there, yeah, I know it's hard because yeah, yeah. you can't have an apostrophe in your username. Yeah. But my name is May. It's three letters: M A I. Mm. <laughs> and then my username is May's Vault, like my yeah. vault, and yeah. I want people to enter my vault. The vault that belongs to May. May. Yeah. 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 So that's my yes. name. Yeah. Apostrophe yes. Yes. Ownership, IP, <laughs> signed digitally. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm. So it's not May's. May's. It's May. May. Yeah. Is, is, is there a mace? Is there an Arabic? There is, right? I think, I think there mace is. is an Arabic I name. That's why people think it is. And I'm like, what if it was like Muhammad's vault? Would you guys call him Muhammad's? No, it's just I don't know why. Because I, I think because my name has three letters. They just I'm not sure. But I'm glad we're I'm lost, here clarifying it. I'm very, very. This is finally the first time Jabber's podcast is useful for something. Because <laughs> other than that, I didn't That's know why I was it, here. Right. That's it. I really did not apart know why I was from, here. Apart from highlighting. The beauty of your marriage and your newfound love and everything. Thank you for no, that. no, no, no. The fact Thank that, that. that no, no, no. I introduced I Max to that. my first world. Fast forward, fast yeah. forward. <laughs> this fast is the forward. most. Return, fast you turn <laughs> signal left. <laughs> this is the most important part <laughs> yeah. of the podcast. So tell them again. M A I. Guys, this has been uh, AJ. <laughs> it's been a really good episode. Uh, May and Max, thank you so much for coming down. I'm sure we're going to do many more in the future, Max. Absolutely. Um, and May, uh, I'd love. No, I, I won't be here <laughs> ever again. I'm <laughs> I would done. Love you to, to, to come back and do it. And congratulations. I wish you all the best in thank love. Thank you. Please try and use what in Arabic language we call sabr, which means patience. Mm both with her and with my <laughs> random voice calls and video calls that come in. Um, know that she's my sister. She's safe with me. Wait, before if we I, end If this. I am wearing a pineapple in my head in one of the videos, which I've done before and will probably do again, don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Wait, can I, before we end this, can yeah. I ask you, was this better than the first podcast oh, we did dude, together? <laughs> when we sat down and pressed record, it was hundred times better. <laughs> Just dude. that part. hundred times better. The fact that we had a conversation together, uh, you know, uh, there was eye contact. Okay. Oh, bro, it was the worst. I still get PTSD from this. <laughs> you're, like you're, getting, you're getting better though. Yeah, yeah I'm getting better. Right. Slowly. This was redeeming because if it wasn't, I know you would kill me. Is there anything that you want to leave with? Anything that you want to say to people? I love you all. Guys, thanks for this episode. Uh, it's thank been you for coming. <laughs> all right, good. I love you. I hope you guys watch this episode. Please subscribe to Jaber's podcast and follow him on Instagram. And if you guys ever need anything, please DM us or hit us up. And if you see us in public, say hi. Like, I love when people say hi to us and we talk. Yeah. No, no, now you're not supposed to look at me. You're supposed oh, to look is at this me. It, where? The one time I you're not supposed to look at me. Am I supposed to look into <laughs> both of these? No, that's all right. Max, anything you want to <laughs> leave them with? That's it. Just have fun. Life is, uh, don't take social media too serious. I think why a lot did of you, Why did you point at me like that when you well, said Well, no, that? because I just... Like you have fun on your social yeah, yeah, media, yeah. so yeah. just yeah, don't yeah. take it too serious. A lot of people get very bent out of shape with some of the stuff that yeah. we, we post and do. I'm sure you probably yeah, get crazy yeah, comments sure. too. Yeah. We're just having fun. Yeah, just have fun. Just have Live fun. Life. Have fun. Live life. All right. I think after three we should say have fun and do it really yeah. Live life, One, two, have three. Fun. Have, have fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs>